Hi, Mark Lund here, author of The Effective Investor, and today I want to share some information about market cycles. Uh, we're going to look back at the past 30 years, the period from January uh, 1970 through June of 2011. Uh, the market cycles are identified in hindsight using historical cumulative monthly returns. And these returns consider the reinvestment of dividends. A bear market is identified in hindsight when the market experiences a negative monthly return followed by a cumulative loss of at least 10%. The bear market ends at its low point, which is identified as the month of the greatest negative cumulative returns before the reversal. A bull market is defined by data points not considered part of a bear market. So as you look at this graph, the rising trend lines in blue designate the bull markets occurring since 1970 and the following trend lines in red document the bear markets. The bars uh, that frame the trend lines help to describe the length and intensity of the gains and losses. The number above or below the bars indicate the duration in months and cumulative return percentage of the bull or bear market. Now keep in mind that this graph does not show total compounded returns or growth of wealth since 1970. Once the cycle is established in retrospect, the first month of that cycle resets the performance baseline to zero. So investors may draw a number of lessons from this graph. First, since 1970, bull markets have lasted longer than bear markets and delivered gains that are uh, disproportionately greater than the bear market losses. Now keep in mind, however, that this time series is relatively short. Second, fluctuating performance within each trend illustrates that volatility and uncertainty occur even within established market cycles. Bull markets may have short-term dips and bear markets may have short-term advances. The immediate trend is not readily apparent to market observers and in fact may become clear only in hindsight. This illustrates the difficulty of, of accurately predicting and timing market cycles. Finally, the graph suggests the importance of maintaining a disciplined investment approach that view, views market events and trends from a long-term perspective. Investors who react emotionally to short-term movements are at risk of making ill-timed decisions uh, that compromise long-term performance. Well, that's it for today. If, if you or someone you know needs help managing retirement assets, please feel free to give me a call. Have a great day.